in the first talk, I just told you what are the Einstein equations and what are the uh, various uh, physical energy momentum tensors. The second part was about uh, conformal compactifications of space time. And I ended up my, my last talk with this, that I, I, I said that, that, that uh, if you conformally compactify space time to this manifold, this boundary, these boundaries are called, let, let's say, scries. And the causality of this scry, I said, depends in particular on the sign of cosmological constant. Actually, the situation is a bit more subtle, and I will still want to comment about this. So let me start from this. So I uh, suppose that we have uh, a metric and a metric conformally related to it. And the change of matrix G to G matrix G hat like this uh, results in the following transformation of the Ricci tensor. So the Ricci tensors satisfy between the Ricci tensor of metric hat and metric without hat. Uh, are related by this formula. So here are some derivatives of, of the function omega. And there, is, there is this uh, gradient of omega here, and there is this d'Alembertian of omega. And uh, when we contract this thing, then we see how the scalar, rich scalars are, are transformed. They are transformed by, by, this, by this formula. So now if we interpret g hat, as the physical metric of space-time, whose conformal compactification metric G has scry where omega uh, tends to zero, we see that the causal properties of this scry are governed by the following formula. So actually you see that, uh, that since I am working in signature minus plus plus plus, so scry is space-like if the gradient of, of, of this function omega is time-like, which means that uh, it is uh, scry is space-like if the Ricci scalar of the physical metric is positive. So that's so it's geometric translation of of this what's going on with with with, with causality of scry is related to the sign of Ricci scalar of the physical metric of this metric that is to be embedded in this conformally compactified thing, okay? So uh, if we just uh, use the Einstein equations, if we use Einstein equations, then one can express uh, this condition on, on Ricci scalar on the condition of uh, cosmological constant in the, in the physical metric and the energy momentum tensor and in, in, the, in, the, in the physical metric. And the formula says like, says this. So this in particular means that uh, close to scry, if, if, if close to scry, the trace of the energy momentum tensor vanishes, the trace of the energy momentum tensor vanishes, positive cosmological constants make scry space-like. So uh, remember this. So uh, for, for me, I, I prefer to have this geometric characterization, which is here, that, that scry is space-like if the uh, Ricci scalar of the physical metric is positive. So now I pass to the subject proper of all of these talks, not yet, but almost, namely to cosmology or to, 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 to theoretical cosmology. And uh, this, uh, like everything in general relativity, started from Einstein himself, who was believing in something which is called perfect cosmological, perfect cosmological principle which perhaps comes from Copernicus or from understanding of what Copernicus was saying or extrapolating what Copernicus was saying. And this perfect cosmological principle says that the universe is the same everywhere in every direction at, at every moment of time. So that's, Einstein believed that this is how universe as a whole behaves. That is everywhere in every direction, every place and at every moment of time. And if you just, think what would be the, 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 the metric or manifold represent the modeling such, such space-time satisfying this perfect cosmological principle. So Einstein said, okay, so that's, let's take, let's take as a, for manifold uh, as three-dimensional sphere and uh, Cartesian product with R, which is time, 
And then a metric, which is just like this, the Lorentzian metric on this on this manifold is like this, which is which is just a, a product metric of of the metric along R and the metric the standard metric on a sphere. This omega uh, thing here is is a, is a constant. Okay, so this is the Einstein static universe model. So uh, as I said, if you in, in general relativity, to say that something is a space-time, it should satisfy some Einstein equations. But, but for example, you can you can simply so you can ask what what Einstein equations this metric satisfies, and if what you do, you just calculate the left-hand side which is of the Einstein equations, which are absolutely geometric, and you will see that Ricci, Ricci of the of, of this Einstein universe metric, is just proportional to the metric on the sphere. So this shows that actually uh, the Einstein equations, I Einstein proposed them in 1916 without this red term here, with, without this lambda, would not be possible to satisfy by this thing. So he added this lambda, and then it turns out that this metric satisfies Einstein equations like this, with cosmological constant being constant, related to this constant omega, and the energy momentum tensor on the right-hand side which, which this universe uh, has is just energy momentum tensor of a perfect fluid with constant energy density and without pressure. So it is just like pure, du pure dust uh, solution with constant, with constant uh, energy density, which obviously satisfies this perfect, perfect cosmological principle. And Einstein realized the perfect cosmological principle by this Einstein uh, universe, which is described on this, on this, on this, on this slide, OK? So in particular, um, the Ricci scalar, uh, the, that's the Ricci, Ricci tensor, the Ricci scalar is, is also positive. So this means that this thing has, if we want to embed it somehow, in this in this conformal compactification, it will have uh, space like sky, right? So it turns out that 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 so the Einstein general relativity was of 1916. This paper of Einstein and cosmology was immediately after in 1917. But then ten years later, uh, Lemaitre and Hubble Hubble discovered expansions of galaxies in the universe and it became clear that the perfect cosmological principle is not correct because because something is changing in time here so so this perfect cosmological principle which was saying that the universe is the same everywhere in every direction and at every moment of time gets replaced that by the cosmological principle that says the universe is the same everywhere and in every direction only and the models of the universe com compatible with this principle are due to Friedman, Lemaitre, Robertson, and Walker. Physicists use this acronym FLRW for this for, 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 for this kind of models. And uh, as as a manifold here, a spacetime is just a, a bundle with the base R, real line which corresponds to absolute time, and the fibers are spaces of constant curvature, uh, Riemannian spaces of constant curvature, either hyperbolic space or R3 or S3. And so that's the manifold. Uh, and, and the metric is just a, a, a kind of wrapped product of, of, of the metric along the base and the metric along the, along the fibers. So now uh, this omega, which before was 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 constant. Now it depends on time. Okay, and this GS is a metric. Is the standard metric on the hyperbolic space, or the flat metric on R three, or the standard metric on on the unit sphere? Okay, so this is this this metric, this class of metrics with a free function omega, uh, are called Friedman Robertson Walker metrics, and and uh, they these metrics satisfies this, this, this cosmological principle that the universe modeled by them is the same everywhere uh, and in every direction. So now you can say, okay, so for this to be a space time, it should satisfy certain Einstein equations. So, and these Einstein equations are imposed, since everything is fixed here, are imposed on the only free function, which is this omega here, right? So, 
So let's let's let me let me look at this Friedman Robertson Walker models. So that's that's the manifold. Uh, T is along R. It is it is it is it is this cosmological time. This is a metric, standard metric on one of the mm, spaces of uh, uh, constant curvature. In particular, there could be locally represented by this coordinate x, y, z, and the metric can be written like this. And kappa here is minus one zero or one. Uh, Depending on on this, if 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 we are dealing with hyperbolic space, uh, a real uh, R free or uh, a sphere. So now <clears throat> one can ask about various omegas which stay here. So if omega stays constant, if omega is constant and this G S is just, uh, and we are in kappa equal one case. Then we, we recover the Einstein static universe, which we just already discussed. Another possibility here is when this omega is given by Cauch function of T. And when kappa is equal one, this is called the Sitter universe. And it is a vacuum solution. So it is a solution with a positive cosmological constant related to this alpha that stays here. But with the right hand side, namely energy momentum tensor equals zero. So that's so such omega when put here is a solution to Einstein equations with with uh, non-zero positive lambda and with uh, zero energy momentum tensor. And uh, what is this? This, uh, this is one of the space times space times of constant curvature in four dimensions. So that's, that's it. Okay. Now, um, so this, this already is a solution that depends on time. So it is like not an, an, another, another, another such solution is due to Friedman and Lemaitre or class of solutions. If you just, if this function omega satisfies certain first order ODE with certain constant M positive, and then this satisfy this is uh, this is, if this fu this function omega that says here satisfies this equation. I think it's called Friedman Friedman Lemaitre equation. If it satisfies this equation, then uh, we have a Friedman uh, Lemaitre universe with cosmological constant lambda, which stays here, and of arbitrary sign. And this uh, universe is, has right hand side energy momentum tensor with perfect fluid, which is just dust, so there is no pressure of energy density corresponding to this constant m and this omega function here, which depends on time because it's, it is a solution of this, of this, of this equation. For the Ricci scalar uh, to be positive, one needs that this lambda is, is, is greater than minus mu divided by four. So in particular, any positive lambda because this is positive, uh, any positive lambda will do uh, Ricci scalar um, positive. What is interesting or maybe it's not visible at, at the first glance, but, but what is uh, interesting, one should note that, that all Fried, Friedman Robertson Walker metrics, all metrics like this, regardless what is the dependence of omega here, all these metrics are conformally flat. So all these, all these, what, what, whatever equation this function satisfies, all these, all these Friedman-Robertson-Walker metrics are conformally flat everywhere. Okay, so that's that's. Uh, so now let's pass really to the subject proper of this thing, uh, namely to the uh, Penrose's uh, conformal cyclic uh, cosmology, and the scheme here is as follows. So you know. Majority of this stuff and the nicest introduction I know for this is in this paper of Paul Todd, who I hope is today with us. And, and I will just briefly tell you what is this Penrose, Penrose's conformal cyclic cosmology, not as a physicist, because I don't know, don't understand physics behind it, but I will tell, I will, I will just squeeze the mathematics of this thing. So what is this conformal cyclic cosmology about? Let me tell you. So, so in this, in this Penrose scheme, the universe consists of units which are called eons. And each of these eons is a space-time on its own, which is 
time oriented. And these eons should be such that the conformal compactifications has space like scry. Space -like uh, and moreover, and this is the, another additional requirement, one wants that the Vi tensor of the metric on each scry is, is zero. So the Vi tensor of this, of, this, of this metrics of these eons doesn't need to be zero everywhere, but it should be zero on scry, okay? These eons are ordered and the conformal compactifications of consecutive eons, say eon number i and eon number i plus one are glued together along the scry. So uh, if you look at eon number i, it has scry plus. And if you look at the consecutive next eon, which is i plus one, it has scry minus. Both of them are, both of them are space-like. Uh, both of them are have vial tensor zero, and you glue these two eons there. Okay, so that's that's how how two eons are glued to each other. Uh, the vicinity of the matching surface of eons. So this matching sur sur surface of two eons. They call wound of this of this created space time. So this 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 space time is wounded, and uh, the vicinity of this of this of this wound of this gluing surface, uh, Penrose calls called that this region is bandaged. So it is just you you, you build a universe from or next like you you glue the previous eon to the new eon by by this by this uh, scry surface. And then you put, you look at the region around this surface, which to heal this wound is just bandage. So they call it bandage region, okay? And this bandage region and this new information turns out that's not what they want. And I think that's that Paul thought mainly introduces in his paper. This bandage region is equipped with actually three different metrics. There are three metrics in this, in this in this bandage region in the vicinity of this matching surface the, the these three three metrics have one particular feature that on the on the uh, wound they are conformally flat they they don't need to be conformally flat everywhere but they are conformally flat at this at this at this at this glue uh, gluing sur glued surface okay so there are three metrics so there is a uh, Lorentzian metric G, which is regular everywhere. There is a Lorentzian metric <coughs> G check, which represents the physical metric of the Aeon I plus one, and which is uh, singular at the wound. And there is Lorentzian metric G hat, which represents the physical metric of Aeon, previous Aeon, and which expands like to infinity at the wound. Okay. So in well, furthermore, in this any of this bandage region, because you have many of these eons, so in any of these bandage regions, the three metrics G, G check, and G hat are conformally related. How to make this relation? I don't know, one has to argue, but Roger Penrose proposes that, that these three metrics are related as follows. The regular metric is related to the metric of the next eon by some function omega square, whereas the previous eon is related uh, to, this, to this regular metric by minus one over this function, okay? So, and this function should be zero on, the, on, the, on this, on this uh, surface uh, where two eons are glued, okay? So that's that's Penrose's proposal, and I I I don't I don't know why. Don't ask me why, but that's I'm talking about the mathematics of these things. Okay, so now the metric mm, G check in this next eon is a physical metric there. Likewise, the metric G hat in the previous eon is physical metric. The the reg so this 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 metrics that so. This metric, as you see, that when omega goes to zero, this metric just like 
shrinks to zero at the, at the, at the one. So this metric is singular uh, uh, at, at, this, at this scry surface. This metric just expands to infinity because omega goes to zero. Uh, and metric G is regular, whereas this metric and this metric are considered, considered the physical metric in a given aeon. So for example, this metric is the metric starting from the, this metric starting from, 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 from the, from the uh, scry this glued surface of scries up in time, this metric is a physical metric in the uh, next eon, and this metric is the physical metric in the previous eon. Okay, so as uh, both of these metrics are physical metrics, so they should satisfy some Einstein equations. So one should satisfy Einstein equations in the, this one should satisfy Einstein equations in I plus one, this one in I, okay? Okay, so the situation is as, uh, as follows. So here is just this, this, this previous aeon going, this aeon number i going until it, 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 it just, this, this time is going to infinity in, 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 in usual time here, and then it uh, arrives to the, to, 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 to scry. And here is the next aeon starting. So here the metric is one over omega square. Here is the metric omega square G. And somehow I assume that G check is actually defined everywhere and G hat is defined everywhere in this bandage region in which there is also metric G, okay? So that's, that's how situation looks like. And now, Mm -hmm. The question is how to make a model of these Penrose's bandage regions, okay? So what one needs for that? When it's a function omega, vanishing on some space-like hyper, hypersurface such that if G hat being, so when, when it's some function omega, when it's metric, some regular metric G, and its function should satisfy on some on some space like hypersurface in 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 jihad. And this jihad should satisfy Einstein equations with some physically reasonable reasonable energy momentum tensor. Likewise, given this function omega, one omega, one omega square times this metric G that we already have in here, this should also satisfy some. Einstein equations with possibly different but still physically re reasonable energy momentum tensor. So somehow to, to, to make, to make a, a, a model of this, one is a metric which is regular, one is a function such that this thing satisfies Einstein equations with some uh, um, energy momentum tensor, some physically re reasonable energy momentum tensor, and this function and this metric, this function and this metric should be such that if we just reverse the function, this thing will still satisfy some Einstein equations. And so this thing is very similar to a problem that some years, some times ago in 1925, uh, Brinkman considered. So Brinkman actually were asking much more, okay, much more specific and at the same time, much more general question because he asked when to given, when in a conformal class of metrics, one can have two different Einstein metrics. Einstein in mathematical, in mathematics sense. So Einstein means that the that, that Ricci is proportional to, or the traceless Ricci is zero. So that's what Einstein means. So he asked, he has, he has two space time in four dimensions uh, in Lorentzian guys. And he asks when in a conformal, actually he has a conformal class, Lorentzian conformal class in four dimensions. And he asked when in this conformal class there are two uh, Einstein metrics, which are not uh, uh, isom isometric, right? So that's that's Brinkman question, and he actually found all such metrics. So here, situation is similar. For example, you you can think, okay, I have I have a metric G, and I'm asking if there is omega for this metric G such that that such that 
there are two metrics, jihad and G, G check, that satisfy Einstein equations. Possib maybe with energy momentum tensor of the same type. So that's that's a problem very similar to 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 to, to Brinkman's one, and it is it is much more much more general in the sense that I don't say what should be what should be. Um, uh, energy momentum tensor type on the right hand side and energy momentum tensor type of, uh, on the other side. But for example, I can assume that I would like to have that G check and G hat have the same energy momentum type, tensor types. So this, but if I, if I assume this, the problem is actually more restrictive than Brinkman because Brinkman was not, assume, not wanting that that there is omega and one over omega gives two different metrics. He wanted that there should be two different omegas giving two different, two different, two different uh, Einstein spaces. So here we want to have such that we, for example, we want to have that this satisfies Einstein equations, let's say of perfect fluid type. This satisfies Einstein equations of perfect fluid type. And they are related by this, that omega here goes to one over omega or minus one over omega there. So let me let me let me sh show you how this work on an example so why not to start with conformally flat situation you remember that i want or at least not me but 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 this penrose proposal wants that the that the that the thing should be having that for example this metric g should have zero vial at at the gluing surface but why not to start with such that G is conformally flat everywhere. So let's 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 see how it works for, for in conformally flat situations everywhere. Okay, so it is sort of reasonable because compatible with the cosmological principle. Uh, so we we, we 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 just see how this thing works uh, in the conformally flat situation, and. Uh, we want to that this metric will, 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 will have energy momentum tensor of perfect fluid, and this metric will have energy momentum of perfect fluid. Okay. Okay, so let's 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 see how it goes. So so just for for, for, for clarity or just for, 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 for focusing myself, I will only consider Friedman Lemet Robertson Walker metrics. With with uh, with k equal one, so the this this space like fibers are are spheres, right? So if I just write this uh, Friedman Robertson Walker metric for this case, I can write it like this. So here is just natural metric in 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 the uh, angle coordinates on a three dimensional sphere. Here is some constant, and here is just this function, this Friedman uh, function omega, which is supposed to satisfy some Einstein equation. And now it is convenient. It is convenient to inform, in, 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 introduce, uh, to pass from t coordinates to new coordinate eta, which perhaps they call conformal time, which is just I simply pull out omega squared in front of this, and then my 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 Friedman uh, Lemaitre Robertson Walker metric looks like this here. And here is this omega square. I simply pull it out here and change variable from t to variable uh, eta. And uh, I did it because now this what stays, this what stays here, this what stays in the big para parenthesis is simply Einstein, Einstein universe metric. So it is simply. Uh, it is. It is. So now I wrote this Friedman Lemaitre Robertson Walker metric as a conformal factor times Einstein universe, right? So the 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 the, the, the metric G, the, this metric here in this parenthesis is is nothing but Einstein universe metric. So now, uh, if we just make this parametrization and write the metric like this. Now I take a unit vector, time-like unit vector, vector which before was minus dt. Now it will be in this parametrization, it will be just this. So I take this vector u, so this unit vector in this metric. Okay, it is a form, but by metric you can make it into vector. So the unit vector corresponds to this, it was this, this, this minus. And now I can just try to, 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 to see 
what this omega should be to satisfy Einstein equations uh, like this. So it is, I don't put cosmological constant here. I have the left, left hand side is just the Einstein tensor without cosmological constant. And on the right hand side, there is energy momentum of perfect fluid. So I want that this thing here satisfies these Einstein equations with this U and with some P and mu. And I moreover want that the equation of state will be just this polytropic equation of state where, 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 where pressure is, is, is uh, proportional to energy density. And actually I want that this uh, proportionality thing will be constant. So if I just look for, if I just write these equations for this metric, then it turns out that this equation can be integrated to the very end. And the solution is given by as follows. So that's the first solution looks like this, when this W here is different than minus one third. And it looks like this, when this uh, W here is equal minus one third. So actually these equations for this matrix with this U can be solved to the very end. So they are, the solution looks like this, either it is given by this omega when w is equal minus one third, or by this omega when it is when it's not equal one third, and or this omega when it is minus one third. The mm, here we have this constant omega zero here. There is this r zero that state here. There is this mm, w which is constant, and here is our two constants omega zero and b. And now if you look at this and you would say, okay, now I would like, maybe, maybe I would like that, that my, that in this panel of this proposal, I would like that my metric G will be precisely this Einstein metric and my metric G check will be just this one. And therefore my metric G hat should be one over omega squared here. So if I just look at my omega, omega looks like sine square of blah, blah, blah to some power, right? But one over omega precisely look also like sine square to some blah, blah, blah to some power. So it is, so omega and one over omega definitely is, is a solution of these equations uh, with W being replaced by this thing to the minus one, one over three plus W. So if you just, so that's, 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 that's what you, that's what you get here. So the, you can, you can, you can make the following theorem. So if Omega, uh, so I'm referring to the situation and to the setting on the previous, previous slide. So if Omega is such that this thing satisfies Einstein equations with Lambda equals zero and with the energy momentum tensor of perfect fluid whose pressure is proportional to the energy density via, via this equation is W equal constant, then this metric satisfies Einstein equations of the same type, also of, of a perfect fluid, with now the energy momentum, energy density related to the pressure with, by this same kind of formula, but with different W. And W goes like this. So the, 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 the W here is replaced by W here. So the richest color of this metric, the richest color of this metric <coughs> is like this. So um, if W is not equal to minus one third or like this, so it is positive when, 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 when this W here, when this W here is between minus one and one third. Uh -huh. Okay, uh, uh, this minus one comes from this, that, 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 that this thing, the, the energy momentum tensor for, for this equation should satisfy energy conditions. And these energy conditions, when you just remember my first lecture, it tells you that this W should be between minus one and plus one. And because of this, that now I want that the richest color of this, of this, of this uh, metric mm, uh, uh, G check, is positive, then I will have that W goes like this, like this. So in, in other words, what I when I can I can now with this make make this bandage region of Penrose 
in this uh, conformal time eta, that's the time going in, in G check, that the time going in this direction in, 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 in G hat, omega goes to, this omega corresponds to this W, whereas if you just put one over omega, you will have also perfect fluid with, with this thing. So somehow uh, here is the, the, the one surface and you have this Penrose's uh, story uh, realized that you have this this these three kinds of metric. The, as as the background, you take Einstein universe metric, and then there is a function omega, which was just on the previous slide, uh, or or actually on on this slide here. There is this this function here, like this one, and if you have this function, you have now solution with perfect fluid here, solution of with perfect fluid here, and this perfect fluid have polytropic equation of state related to each other by this. So somehow there is some kind of funny, funny transformation that if you have, if you have in the previous aeon, in previous aeon you have, let's say, let's say, um, uh, uh, polytrop with, with, with this W equal minus two third, then in the in the in the new aeon you will have just w equal to zero, meaning that you will have you will have only matter. And somehow somehow these these things via this relation are just dual to each other. So there is there is a matter here that is dual to this matter, except except of this mm, funny point minus one third. They just go minus one third goes to minus one third, and also, there is, there, is, there is also a point here at the end of this story, which is minus one goes to one third and one third, one third goes to minus one. So recall that minus one, if you look at the, if you look at the perfect fluid uh, equations, right? So minus one means that this term is vanishing. So if this term is vanishing, therefore this uh, solution is just like, it behaves like a cosmological constant solution. So uh, W equal minus one corresponds to cosmological constant solution, which for example means that here you have, if you have W minus one, so here you have just the Sitter space. And when you go to the other side, <laughs> you will get, you will get, you will get uh, one third and one third corresponds to radiation, incoherent radiation. The trouble is, the trouble is that if you just look one third sort of his bad point because in one third Ricci becomes zero and Ricci becomes zero says that, that, the, that the sky is not anymore, anymore space-like. So somehow there are, there, 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 are, there, there are sort of strange points here, which is just the points on the boundary, which corresponds to minus one and one third, which is, which is, uh, which is um, uh, tra tra transmutation between between cosmological constant space-time and uh, radiative space-time. And there is also this thing which corresponds to minus one third, which is just sort of like self-dual thing. So it is just this what was minus one third in the previous eon is the same uh, minus one third in the second eon. The, the, I, I put these numbers like minus one, minus one, minus two third, minus one third, zero and one third, because these are essentially the only ones that, that they discuss in cosmology. So if minus one, we already discussed that it is just corresponding to, to cosmological constant. Minus two third, uh, they call it gas of domain walls, whatever it means, I don't know. Uh, the, the minus one third, they call it gas of strings. So this gas of strings passes happily from one side of, the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of, of one aeon to the other aeon. And what shall I say? And of course, zero corresponds to this, that, that, that pressure is zero, which is just dust solution. And one third is radiation, okay? So there are these, so, so let, me, let me now comment a bit about this other, this, this I, I, I'm very unhappy about this, what's going on in minus one and one third, because at one third, Ricci becomes zero, and I want that Ricci is positive. So what can I do here? So let me, let me, let me, let me just uh, look at this transformation from G hat, uh, from G check to G hat, uh, more carefully. So 
I, I come back to the original Friedman Lemaitre Robertson Walker metric. So it looks like this. And I, from this, what I have just have shown you on the previous slides, somehow this Einstein universe here is distinguished. And I think that I would like to write this metric in such a way that it looks that it that it has this Einstein metric distinguished. So I just pull out omega square as before. And now this what is in red is my Einstein metric. It looks in these coordinates in, in the original Friedman Robertson Walker coordinates looks like this, but let's let it be. So now let's let's put these Einstein equations on this metric to have energy momentum tensor of, 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 um, of perfect fluid type with polytropic equation of state. But let's, let's write these equations in this coordinate. So let, if we write these equations in this coordinate, so now this U check is just minus dt. I, I write this equation. And then it turns out that Friedman, Robertson, Walker, uh, the, the, the Einstein equations for, for, for this type of energy momentum tensor in these coordinates give me this equation for this function omega double, uh, for, this om for this function omega. That is second derivative is related via this to the cosmological constant here and to this W, it looks like this. So as I said, before I made everything in this, uh, in this cosmological, uh, in this cosmological coordinates, because I could integrate in equations in these coordinates, I cannot integrate this equation that easily, but let's write this equation. So this omega for, for this metric to satisfy uh, Einstein equations with perfect fluid with this U and with this polytropic equation of state, the only equation to be satisfied by omega is just this second order ODE. Okay, so that you have this second order ODE. So now if I have this second order ODE, now I want to, to I, 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 I now go to the metric, to the metric G, G hat, which is one omega squared. So I assume that omega that stays here satisfies this equation. And I look uh, when, when this metric with now this u, because it should be unit vector, with, with now this u satisfies, the, satisfies the, the polytropic equation of state. So with cosmological constant in this region, lambda hat, and with, 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 with w check, uh, w hat equal constant. So from the Einstein equation for g hat, I easily can calculate this w because it will be again some equation now expressed since I since I use this equation. So I will from from the Einstein equations, everything will be depending only on the first derivative of omega. So if I just I, I eventually calculate this this w hat because it will be equations like this, but already for the first order using this equation, right? And if I just write it, write 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 this equation explicitly and again use this and now I want the, so I calculate this w w hat. And now I want that this W hat is constant. If I want that this constant, it eventually satisfies some equation. And this will be, this will be some equation. And it turns out that, that, that the necessary condition for this W to be constant is the following beautiful equation. The following beautiful equation. Okay? So what it says, it says that, for example, that necessary conditions for this, that this one over omega will also satisfy this polytropic equation of state Einstein equations, uh, provided that this is satisfied. I'm not saying that this if and only if, but I'm saying that this is necessary condition. So, 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 so there are actually there are actually several cases. The first case we already had that I assumed that on both sides cosmological constants were zero. So this equation is void. If cosmological constants in Einstein equations on both sides of the thing is zero, then this equation is void. And actually. I solved this problem before. So another possibility is, which I didn't study, and now maybe I, I, I could, but I, I don't, that, that one of lambdas is zero, we will come to this. But if, if, if both lambdas, if both lambdas on both sides are non-zero, then the, there is strong restriction on w, w, w check. W check may be either this of, pure radiation or this of, of, 
cosmological constant type, right? So that's a necessary condition for both omega and omega to the minus one to describe the polytropes is that either one of the lambdas is zero or W is of the radiation of lambda type, right? So, uh, so I, I, I restrict, so I already argued somehow that this case is somehow dual to that on the previous thing, although this doesn't apply because this equation only is valid when, when both lambdas are non-zero and I only argued at lambda, both lambdas being equal zero, but somehow, so let me, let, let me, let me show you what's going on when, 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 when W check is one third. When W check is one third, then remarkably, if you just look go back to the equations to be solved, because as I said, this only necessary condition, if you just look to the equations this to be solved, the first thing you will see that if W check is one, one third, then W hat also must be one third. Okay. And this generalization of the result that, that Paul has in his paper. So somehow if, if, if cosmological constant is non-zero, uh, then W, that the type of, uh, of uh, perfect fluid doesn't change. It, it is radiation on both sides. And moreover, in this case, one can integrate these equations explicitly to the very end. And this gives you this, this only function, which satisfies all the conditions, satisfies all the equations. So there is, if you remarkably, it is, it is in, now in these coordinates, in the Friedman coordinates, this equation can be integrated in terms of elementary functions. Note that both lambdas appear here, that most, both lambdas appear here. So for example, if, if, if lambda check is zero, if lambda check is zero, then this term, this term goes, this term goes, and also this term becomes constant. And we are in, so if, if, if lambda check is equal zero, then, then we have omega being, being, being constant, but, but otherwise both, lambdas can be present and this function has the property that both g hat and g check related to the einstein mm, uh, universe metric satisfies einstein equations with polytropic perfect fluid equations of states for which both w and w check w check and w hat mm, is one third which corresponds to radiation and this and on both sides the Cosmological constant can be whatever. You you may even argue that ah maybe okay. Definitely, they sh if they are positive, there is no problem here. If they are negative, also it could be something. But it's bad for my proposal because then this cry is bad. Okay, and anyhow, so here this G is Einstein universe, and that's that's essentially the result of Paul, although he had only he 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 he. he he somehow has in, in, in his example, he was showing that, that, that both lambdas are the same. Actually here, it's what, 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 uh, what I'm showing, colloquially speaking in coherent radiation passes happily through the wand. So if it was, if it was incoherent, if only there is, there is non-zero cosmological constant in both of the, of the things, uh, incoherent radiation is just, passing through, through, the, through, through this wand without any trouble. As it should be, because it is radiation. So it is, at least if these were geodesics, not geodesic, they are conformal. Here is something more subtle because it's just some uh, gas of, radi of, 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 of uh, zero risk mass particles, but it's okay. Okay, so that's what I have shown you an, an example how this how this how this uh, Penrose's thing works. So what are the uh, possible generalizations of these things? One can do something like this. So consider consider special Bianchi models. So just take uh, generalize this. What was here? Here I had Einstein. Uh, here I had a, a sphere. But if you just you can just take take. Um, uh, the thing to be built out of left invariant forms on from three dimensionality group. And the universe now will be just R times, times this. Okay. 
at least locally. So I, sh I should say again, a bundle with this fiber over this base. And, uh, and for each of these Bianchi type decide what would be really proper choice of metric to replace the Einstein one, for example, find some preferred basis and write it like this. And it's essentially it is the same and do the same analysis that I did for, 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 for Einstein universe. My game was Bianchi nine in which this G was SU2, it was a sphere. That's what I was showing on the previous slide, but you can generalize it to any Bianchi. Actually, you can make it more general. You can take now instead of, of a group here, you take uh, any Riemannian manifold and, and try to play the game. And I think that for, 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 for all of these cases, these omegas could be explicitly determined to the very end, which, because it's very strong restriction that first a metric has two Einstein metrics. And moreover, that these two Einstein metrics are tra transformed to each other by very simple transformation that omega goes to one over omega. It's very restrictive. So I think that in all of these cases, this should be done to the very end. I think that that's essentially what I wanted to say. And so I, I, I simply said that it is, it is a nice playground to play. <laughs> and so let me, let me finish with, 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 with few pieces of literature. So there is this Brinkman who has shown that uh, Einstein space, who has who answered the question when to Einstein, when Einstein space, when conformal class can have two Einstein scales. And I think that something like the, this kind of question should be also asked for a given type of a cosmological, uh, of a energy momentum tensor. So you, you can ask when a conformal class have two different Lorentzian metrics, which whose Ricci tensor has a particular energy momentum tensor type. So this is just general, this should be doable in four dimensions Lorentzian case, I think. Um, and the, the, the main references of this and my inspiration for this particular talk was from this paper of Paul. And everybody, if somebody is interested more in this, there are these beautiful lectures of Paul he gave here in Warsaw a few years ago. Uh, we have copy of this, but we cannot give you. So if you want a copy and you didn't get it before from during this meeting, so ask Paul for a copy. And this, this, this relevance of Einstein universe metric for this proposal was first time, I think you mentioned by, 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 by me and Krzysztof Meissner in this paper, when we, when we for the first time found this particular, particular transmutation between various perfect fluids between the ions. I think that that's everything what I wanted to say. Thank you very much. Thank you. I should stop sharing. Igor, if you are saying something, we cannot hear you because you have muted thing. Right. So, uh, in, in your last problem, this metric GE is not necessary, Einstein. Like you have G hat and G check, which are conformal to some metric, right? But this metric is not necessary, Einstein. Which, which metric? Metric. I have three metrics. You have, you have three metrics, right? And like G check, G hat, and, the, and G, what you call GE. Yes. This GE is not necessary, Einstein. It's just some. No, it doesn't. Uh, th that's the problem. You have to choose the, 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 uh, somehow for, for making this matching between these two eons, you need to decide which is this metric G. When Meissner and me were doing this for this uh, conformally flat things, we just didn't know which metric to choose. Eventually, we, we just assume that is any metric, any conformally flat metric G. And then we wrote the equations for both sides of the, of the G check and G, G, G hat and perfect fluids. And then we observed that the equations are horrible, except 
I choose as this metric, this intermediate, this, this metric G, the metric of Einstein universe. If I just have chosen the metric of Einstein universe, then it turns out that, that all the equations simplify drastically. So in the conformally flat case, I know that somehow Einstein universe metric plays a crucial role, role to simplify my equations. That's, that's the, my only observation, that we just observed. That I could have chosen whatever, because I have to choose this metric G, which I choose metric of Einstein universe, but I have choose it anyone. And in this case, in this conformally flat, I should choose some conformally flat Einstein metric. And then for this metric, I should cook up this omega such that omega and one over omega satisfy certain equations. And then, and then it turned out that only if I have chosen as this metric, I, I started with most general one. And then I observed that, that, that if I choose Einstein universe metric, the equations on both sides become very simple. Okay. Mm -hmm. But, but, but this may be art, artifact of this conformal flat thing. In, 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 as, as I said in my, in, my, in my slide, let me show my slide again. Uh, as I said in my slide uh, uh, here, you have to choose, like, for example, you can, you can try to generalize this, what I did for SU2 for some other Bianchi model. So you have to decide which HIJ constant coefficient matrix, which one to choose for a given, for that, so that this will be replacement of your, uh, of your, of my Einstein mind that if I just pull out omega square out of this, that this will be replacement for my Einstein metric. I don't know how to do it. One has to investigate it. Perhaps I, I would believe that for each Bianchi type, there should be some preferred one, IHAJ, that the background metric will make all the equations very simple. That's what I believe, but I didn't try it. I'm saying that this is just a thing to play. Okay, thank you. Uh, Pavel, in, uh, in your equation, uh, there was a factor mu. Uh, factor mu? Uh, well, there was my, which, which, which my other question? Page twelve. Page twelve. Wow. Ah, because you made notes or you had that good memory. This is this is an energy constant. Page twelve. Uh, 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 uh. Here. Yes. yes. Yeah. Mu. What is mu? Where is mu? Here. Ah, mu. Here. As I said. Uh, mu is related to p by this, so it is it is, it is a function, right? Yes, I did, I, but, but when you get solution, what is what is mu for this solution? Ah, mu. No, you you would like to know how this function looks like when omega looks like this, or you want to you yes, ask yes. physically what it is? No, no, no. When when, when omega looks like this, uh, it is some complicated function. <laughs> I, I can I can check in my Mathematica how this mu looks like. If you want, I can check it immediately. Let me see. I don't remember. Uh, there are zillions of these files, so let me find one, the proper one. Uh, so you are asking about. That doesn't uh, matter how it behaves when it approaches cry. Uh, yeah. Wait. Wait. I I don't remember. I don't remember, but it 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 it, it really. It, it, uh, scry from which side? Because, yeah. So, it, okay. I I just I just check. I just check. Well, well, for radiation, I think the mu is going like one over omega to the power of four or. Three. Yeah, I think I think that it was somewhere. Let me see. Oh, what I'm doing? I will check. Again, solution polytrope spherical to Einstein. Uh, I see here, maybe in this one. Okay, no, that's that's the simple one. Uh, City yes. is, is it's omega to some power. That's uh, that's what that's 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 correct. But let me find it precisely. 
No, because because Boris is asking how it behaves at the at yeah. the at the, at the one, so I, I but, think but, that but, either, but there's an explicit function, right? So you can just verify it. Either goes to zero, it, it behaves like omega to some power. So either it goes to zero or it blows up. It depends on which side. Okay. Okay. Anyhow, I, I, I simply think that somebody can play with the Bianchi models and I am a bit... So annoyed. again, it, in, in this fluid models, like mu and p are functions, right? Only w yes. is a constant. Yes. yes, yes. The w is constant. Yes. Oh, okay, in principle, you don't need to put that w is constant. That's another thing. Yes. I, I wanted to have w equal constant just to see how it goes when w is equal constant. Yes, there, there is a lot of freedom. It's a free, free, free area of research, you know? Pavel, uh, there's only one constant which uh, which you ch check uh, change head to check. Uh, well, remains the same. It's minus one third, right? Say it again. So it's only for w equal to minus one third that when you pass a square, it's the same. Yes. Yes. Right. So so why don't you glue this universe to itself? Uh, yes. So it's not like infinitely many eons, but just one eon glued to itself. The point is, the point is that if, if you think like this, you, you, I think that you, you don't understand the main, the main idea of Roger Penrose. And I think that I didn't understand it for a while. He, he, he doesn't say that entire universe is just behaving like this, what's going on at the vicinity of this, of this, of this, of this thing, right? Every, every aeon after passing through this, through this gluing kind of period, has his own history. This is, this, is not, this, is not, this is not repetitive cosmology. It is cyclic cosmology. It means that there are various of eons at the, at, uh, and that the situation at the... At the I, I understand it's more general situation, but I ask about one cycle. Is it possible to have yeah, so you would one like cycle? To make it, yeah, so, yeah, divide it by Z2 and you are done, or something. You, 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 there will be only one. But it's, that's not the idea. The idea is that there are plenty of these eons. Each has its own hinge history. The, 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 what we can say only is this what's going on at the... Uh, we try to say what's going on at the beginning and at the very end of the... Of the, of the, of the, of the okay, uh, and another question is the following. So this one cycle is only for W equal to one, minus one third. And then you also identify two cycles. The, 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 are there more cycles? Because you have this transformation on Ws. Do you I, have more I, don't, I don't know. I don't know what is the physics in this universe. One, once the universe goes out of this bandage region, I don't know. No, of course you can only trace what happens in, in this region, right? But but you have very explicit transformation for W. Uh, but but so, so you you want me to glue these bandage regions to themselves? It's, no, 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 no. Very it's only the universe. I don't want it. I, I, I don't. I don't know. It's. I repeat, I am not a physicist. Don't ask me any kind of questions like this. Mathematically, you can... Uh, the, my point here was that I wanted to show you that there is a lot of play for mathematicians here. Okay. Well, I also want to ask you, can you send again your uh, slides from the previous talk because I think I didn't download it. It's, it's I, not I, think, I, think, I think that they are, they are in the web page. Ah, they, yeah, they, the they are on the website. Yeah, yeah. Ah, okay. All right. So I, I saw the video, but not the, the file. Okay. Ah, so maybe, maybe one more question, Pavel, about this reference to Brinkman. So he yes. identified all pairs of conformally unstained spaces, right? No, he, no, I, no, no. That's what I was doing. He was, he, he just said, he, he found, he found that actually, he, 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 there, there is a conformal space time which I think is called PP wave, such that so it's a class of space times that they can be transformed to each other via conformal transformation, and they are not, and they are not uh, isometric. So it is not one, there, are, there is not pair, but it's just like family of them that they can transform to be Yes, uh, but, but that's with, with uh, trivial matter, right? 
Yes. yes. Vacuum, vacuum story. Yes. 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 So, so, he was, so he was vacuum with cosmological constant. So he was considering he was considering okay. when a given uh, uh, traceless Ricci manifold is conformal to another traceless Ricci manifold. Yes. So uh, he as did a, a, okay. as a triples there. As a three different non asymmetric I'm just telling you that there is there is there is continuous family, okay. and actually more because this this family is 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 defined in terms of some holomorphic function of one variable and yeah. one real variable. So, like he did complete classification of some just some example of such formula. No, he, he made everything in four dimensions in actually in every signature, in, in, in every signature, mm -hmm. in Lorentzian, uh, Riemannian, and 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 <laughs> and uh, split signature. In Riemannian, it turns out that the only guys that can be mapped to each other are conformally flat, uh, which are just these uh, spaces of constant curvature that could be transformed to each other. Uh, in Riemannian signature, th that's the only thing. The, the, the situation is different in, in different in Lorentzian and in split signature. Where are these PP waves? They are, which is just like uh, functional parameter family of solutions that can be mapped to each other conformally. Mm -hmm. And it's that's a very interesting thing with this Brinkman because actually what he has shown in this Lorentzian signature is 1925. And it was in Mathematische Annalen. It was in English, and that was the these PP waves are called PP waves because then they were rediscovered in 1960s when or 50s when they were looking for gravitational waves. So Einstein was alive when Brinkman already gave him an exact solution of Einstein equations that corresponds to gravitational wave, but he was unaware of the work of Brinkman. And then there was this this full fuss if these waves exist or not exist, but actually Brinkman had them in 1925. And he found them not because of physics. He simply was looking for, for, for two manifolds, that two metrics that could be conformally related to each other, and both are Einstein. But here you have much more freedom for the energy yes. tensors. Yes, 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 yes. So it is why, it is why if, if I just not put any restriction on the energy momentum tensor on both sides, is it is like not well-defined problem, but it is why I'm saying, okay, so let's do it as follows. Let's determine when two different, when a conformal class have, uh, have uh, solutions of Einstein equations with an energy momentum tensor of a given, of a given type, of a given algebraic type. It is, it is why I was giving this first seminar about this algebraic type of energy momentum tensor. So it's actually quite related to another question that you asked, to find uh, conditions that in the conformal class you have a metric with given type yes, of... Yes, 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 yes. I, 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 I gave this first lecture all the time having in mind that it is sort of applicable in special case to this uh, conformal cyclic cosmology of Roger Penn. Yes, okay. yes. That was that, that. That was the mystery why I was considering this because I was heading to this what I said today. Yes. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Thank you.